All right, in this video, I'm going to share how I installed my zip line in the, in the yard. We don't have any trees, so I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm just going to be real simple. I delayed in putting this video out because as an engineer, I wanted to give the full story as to how I did it. But really, let's just show you what I did. And if you're interested, if anybody's interested and they want more details of how I calculated everything, I'll be more than happy to follow it up. Follow it up. Follow it up. Anyway, here goes the kid. I'll be happy to follow it up with uh, a full video of why I did what I did. But let's go take a look at what I did. Okay, so what I did is I used 2 by 12 So I put two of them side by side. Come here and look. See this? There's two of these things. I actually put construction adhesive in the middle of these two 2x12s two and actually screwed them together in a number of, of spots. Stand back a little bit so people can see a little more. Screwed them together in a couple of spots. 2 by 12s on each end. Now here's another thing. Come, come over here and you can look at how I have these things pointed. See how I aimed it directly at the at the far anchor point? Can you see that far anchor point? See how beautifully they, they align and they're, they're angled? So uh, there's a reason why I used 2 by 12s, two 2 by 12s, instead of a 4 by 6 or whatever. There's, there's a reason for that. And like I said, in that next video, I will get to that if, if anybody's interested. There's calculations that went into that. Okay. But the anchor point, what I did is I had, at each end, I had 18 inch diameter holes uh, dug for me. A guy came in with a with a with uh, an auger and dug them four feet deep. So this is a 12 foot long two by 12. These are, these are, these are 12 foot long two by 12s and they're sunk four feet in the ground. So we got eight feet sticking up, four feet sticking down. Something else that I did, to uh, avoid getting the wire crimped, the, uh, the cable, is I made these little, you know, uh, simulated tree shape things. The directions are pretty clear about not letting the uh, steel cable get crimped. So you gotta keep the, in order to, you know, if I just put it directly around the two by, the, the two by 12s, right, it would have this hard, you know, crimp so this is just some laminated, I just took some scrap plywood, laminated it, and then I, I just put some little pine pieces around there, tacked them, glued them, tacked them, and then cut out so I could put this thing up, up there. It's pretty simple. I don't know, you might have another another solution. But um, that's pretty much it. it, it, it this is the same anchor at, at both ends, and uh, we should actually see what it looks like when a kid rides the zip line. You can see that it, it flexes a little bit, and it's actually the flex it's the stiffness of this these anchor points that really dictates how it's gonna uh, perform as a, as a zip line all right i'll put more science and calculations and engineering in the next video right on that centimeter mark go ahead